I'm just going over some WikiLeaks news. And apparently, Sweden has this, uh, Sweden has bypassed Parliament with secret U.S. deal. Apparently, um, the terrorists, which, like, why do you have terrorists in the first place? You know, I'm having a conversation with somebody right now who lives in the States who doesn't believe 9-11 was an inside job. There's a good video I linked earlier um, that kind of has beyond reasonable doubt. It was Bush and his family who blew up uh, the towers. But here's the deal. And, and I know if you're American, you may not like to hear this. But you got to kind of see that your government do not care about other people. They don't care about you. Look at the Gulf. They didn't give a shit how many people they kill and destroy. It's run by the corporate world who is a cost-effective rule and it's about profit at all times. Now, there's a lot of money to be made with war. Killing off countries just to take over their economic system has been something that's been going on for years. Just go and look at some of what Tony Robbins preaches when he says you got to find a mentor. Go look at the mentors that Tony Robbins says you should imitate. All of them were involved in war. All of them went into countries, destroyed countries, murdered people, and then took over their economic system. This is what the U.S. does. They go in and destroy countries that they want to take over. They actually fund presidents that they want to see in power. So it's not like anybody has a free election. There's big corporations that fund you know, presidents in different countries to get them elected. So the United States has had a lot of propaganda going on. So a lot of people in the States really believe that the States are really, really good people. But it's kind of common knowledge that not too many people around the world like the United States. Why? Because you go around and killing people. And for for oil or, you know, I mean, where WikiLeaks is putting out a lot of um, documentation that you don't give a shit about killing your own journalists or killing kids, you know, just for living there. No guns, no nothing. It's just, oh, you shouldn't have brought your kids to a war zone. It's like they live there. There is no war zone except for the war zone that you create. Um, so it's like... Do, do you not think after years and years and years of killing off people's families for no reason that some people have nothing to lose? You know, like, don't you think that that's where a terrorist comes from is, I don't give a shit anymore, I'll destroy the whole friggin' planet because that's what these elite people are doing and the only way to stop them is to kill them. So it's like, the only terrorists around are the terrorists that are trying to stop these psychopathic maniacs from destroying the planet. So anyways, back to the story. Sweden has uh, this secret deal with the U.S. to keep their plans about terrorists secret. Why? Because they're probably not terrorists in the first place. They want to keep a lot of this shit secret. So that's probably why Sweden is going to uh, extradite Assange to the state where they're going to charge him with what? He didn't break any crime, he, you know, he didn't break any laws other than the laws they're trying to drum up. Um, but that's where Sweden is sitting. I'll post a, an article to that. Another thing that's interesting, while you don't know that you're killing innocent people, um, the Air Force is now not allowed to watch the news. <laughs> they're not allowed to watch the New York Times. So it's like, yeah, you soldiers don't really put the dots together that uh, if you found out that you were killing innocent people and creating terrorists by doing that, I mean, you kill people's families, they're going to go a little mad and angry at you. And since they have nothing else to live with for because you killed off their family, you know, the only thing is, is revenge, because there's nothing else we can do, because they know that they're going to be killed next. You know, like, you're creating your own terrorists. You're putting a target on your own back. Not that I support terrorism at all, but it's like, 
The U.S. is the last person that should be involved in any form of war or any form of peace because they sure as hell don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't give a shit about killing their own people. The video I posted earlier today shows a lot of evidence that you know, your own government blew up the Twin Towers. You know, your own government is looking pretty damn guilty of uh, poisoning the Gulf and killing millions that are soon to die from all that toxic waste, you know. The media is not telling you the truth. You know, it's not like they're suppressing information, which we know they're doing. What they're doing is lying to you. If most of these newspapers started uh, actually, well, they are reporting the news, but I would not believe one thing your media is telling you. One example is, is I would watch a documentary on south of the border. Kind of find out what's going on down there, because that ain't what you think either. You think it's all about drugs? No, it's all about Clinton, you know, trying to, enforcing, you know, people in, in South America to grow the drugs so that he could be busy shipping and making money off of it and getting everybody, you know, hooked on drugs, you know, while Clinton has been making a lot of money doing that. That is history, but that's, you know, more than enough evidence that proves that's what's going on. It's not like a lot of these other countries are, are doing it. It's like if there's anything wrong anywhere in the world, the United States has their, their hands in it like a dirty glove. And mostly because, here, here's my take on it. Any country that, you know, has dealt with an awful lot of hardship, where do you go? to the United States to get that American dream. And what is the American dream? To get friggin' wealthy. You know, you can get wealthy in, in the States. So it's like, how are you going to get wealthy? By being the corporate world. The corporate world is the one that destroyed your country, that made you live in poverty, and your poverty that you're living in, it's like instead of fixing that problem, no, go and become the problem and go for the American dream. So now you got a whole pile of people that come from a whole pile of different cultures that are all there to make a lot of money. And it's like, can you not see that game? Can you not see that cycle going over and over and over again? It's like, I don't know if I'm the only one that sees it. Can anybody else see that same picture too? Do you think that there's anything wrong with your soldiers actually finding out a little bit more information about who they're killing and who they're working for? I think that's kind of a little important. But apparently, the United States government says, no, the soldiers cannot have any information. It's do what you're told and don't ask any questions. And then it's like you come home and you have to live with that. You killed a bunch of families and uh, see if that'll make the rest of your life happy. And, you know, like if you come back with a little bit of a health problem, your government won't even provide you medical care. <laughs> it's like... You, you absolutely have zero value, and, and mostly because you haven't valued yourself. Once you guys uh, in the States decide to say, hey, you're worth a lot more than money, you know, the American dream should be about family, fun, enjoyment of life, you know, helping each other out, not destroying each other, then maybe we'll get it. Maybe you'd be an example for the rest of the world. But until then... I personally would keep the states out of any type of problem solving because they don't know how to solve any of their own problems yet. <laughs> Peace out.